Hey guys, it's Matt from Total MTG here with our new series, Deck Tech Tuesday. And I'm starting off, I've um, had a lot of subscribers request this, want to see the deck list and a little deck tech for it. It is Ural the Miststalker, my um, EDH deck. Um, I have played this quite a few times on the, on, the, on the channel at the moment, and I will leave a link to some of the matches be on the below for that. So you can have a look at it in action and make your mind up for yourself. But I wanted to start off by showing you what is in the deck. So we'll start off with the creatures. So we start off with some um, with some rampy sort of cards. Sky Shroud Elf. Uh, it costs two. Comes down. You can tap it for a green, and then it taps for a white and a red if you pay one. I'm probably thinking of swapping this to Birds of Paradise, but I had this in my collection, never used it in a deck before, but I wanted to use it. Then we have Wood Elves. Uh, enter the battle, you search for library for a forest card, so another nice rampy card. Sakura Tribe Elder. Um, brilliant comes with a blocker, then you can sacrifice it, you know, get another basic land, which helps you ramp out as well. And Sylvan Carriage, which is a hexproof tap for any colour, which is, you know, a brilliant card as well. So then we go to some more creatures. Obviously we play a lot of enchantment spells in this and Herald of the Pantheon makes a spot. Uh, makes them cost one less and you gain one life for each enchantment spell you cast. Tajura Preserver. Uh, spells and abilities opponents control can't cause you to sacrifice permanent. Because obviously we're a bit of a Voltron deck. We don't want to be sacrificing any permanents. We want to keep them on the field. Which Sagada does as well. Which is, um, you know, but that's a big 5-5 flying hexproof angel. Brilliant card, Sagada. Uh, Dauntless Exhort means you can sacrifice it and you, all your creatures gain indestructible. So, saves them all from wraths and stuff like that. Eternal Witness. Absolutely amazing card, Eternal Witness. You know, 2-1 for 2 green and a 1 comes in. You can just block it when it dies. Return, uh, when it enters, sorry, you return a target card from your graveyard. Any card. That's a brilliant card, Eternal Witness. Uh, Xenagos got a Revels. Um, not always, you know, it doesn't always get the devotion, but it's brilliant at the beginning of combat and another target creature gets plus X plus X, which, you know, can be the final bit that you need to get your Ural through. Then we go to some card draw. Uh, Messer Enchantress and Island of Blossoms. Whenever enchantment spell gets played, you get to draw cards, which is also very important, drawing cards. Uh, Dragon Lord Dromica, just to be something a bit different. Your opponents can't cast spells in your turn then, so, you know, if it's out, it means you can, you know, protect yourself. You know, you've got no worry about playing a spell, and then they, you know, cast something to counter it or anything like that. Um, probably Grand Abolisher as well, that works well. During your turn, your opponents can't cast spells. Um, activate abilities of anything of, like, artifacts, creatures, enchantments as well. So it's like, you know, a little bit of control in the deck. Island of Council of Battles, which you can obviously bestow as well, but can be just a creature with obviously a lot of enchantment auras on the battlefield. Reclamation Sage, um, kill an artifact or enchantment. Obviously we're not going to kill our own, but we are going to kill an opponent's. And Acidic Slime, which you know lets us destroy artifact, enchantment or land. So that's the creatures. So we're going to move on to the artifacts now. So, a bit more of a um, ramp for us here. An indestructible um, tats for any colour. Dark Star Wing got every every EDH deck, you know, probably run Soul Ring. Chromic Lantern as well. Lands you control over one mana of any colour, which is, uh, you know, brilliant because we got obviously a three colour general. And Swiss Whip Boots, uh, just in case we want to give it, you know, a bit of haste. It obviously got hex proof already, uh, Ural. Because um, obviously, Ural Ball. You're all, can't get the word out right, so you can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponent's control. So, you know, once it's out, we want to keep it out, which is what we want to do. So we go through the instance. We haven't got many instances because obviously it's a very much an enchantment based. Source the plowshare, just exile the target creature and they gain life. You could exchange that with Path to Exile maybe or something like that. Um, Boros Charm. Brilliant card. We can make our permanent indestructible, our creatures indestructible or something like that. Or it gains double strike, which you know, which is very good as well. Don't use the four damage target opponent that much. 
But to give um, your all double strike is, you know, just brilliant. Um, Crows and Grip, split second card, destroy a target enchantment or, or artifact. And one of my new additions to the deck, which is Rift's Charm. Um, all the colours, destroy a target non-basic land or put three saplings. Or prevent all damage of source of choice. So, you know, we'll, we'll protect us. We haven't got that many creatures, so it gives us a little bit of protection there. If we draw that. So now we will go to the sorceries. We've got a few sorceries. Here we go. So, idyllic tutor. Let's just go and search up for one of those enchantments. It might be the most important enchantment that we have. We don't run many tutors in the deck. Um, here's one of those very important one though. Three dreams. Let's just search up to three aura cards with different names. Put them into our hands. We can go and search for our best enchantments. And load up your all. Uh, green Sun Zenith. Search low for a green creature card. Maybe want to go and get one of the, uh, you know, protector green cards. Something like that. And then we go for the more rampy rampy. So we get Farsi. Cultivate. Gets us some more lands. Helps us get into your all quicker. Uh, one of our few little rafts, which is Windsor Rafts, destroys all creatures that aren't enchanted. So obviously our creatures mainly are going to be enchanted. Hopefully your is going to be big and we can clear the field and start knocking down our opponents. So on to another sorcery here, which is Decimate. Destroys target artifact, creature, enchantment and land. Very good card, Decimate. Another one of the ramp cards, should have put that with the other one. That is Codimus Reach. So it drops two basic lands. And then we go for our extra combat phases. Um, you know, we want to, obviously being a Voltron deck, we want to kill as many people as we can. I've only played it in 1v1 at the moment, but these cards are mainly for when we're playing multiplayer. Seize the Day, Relentless Assault. And I can't remember this name of the card off, but off the top of my hand. I think it's Nameless Inversion, I think it's called. Something like that. Anyway, I can't remember. I will, I will double check that and put it in the... I will leave in the comments the list as well. Um, but basically these give us extra combat phases, which means we can just untap and attack again. And when your all's that big, you know, sometimes you just clear two opponents off at once, which would be absolutely brilliant. And then we go to a few enchantments that obviously don't... These don't enchant your all, but they're very handy to us. Um, Angelic Renewal. If a creature is put into your graveyard from play, you may bury that and then put those creatures into play. So if they do kill it, well, you can get it back. Righteous Aura, uh, you uh, pay one white and two life, and you uh, next time a source of your choice does damage, you prevent that damage, which is very good. Dueling Grounds, no more than one creature may attack each turn, no more than one creature may block, which is when we're Voltroning, that is very good for us. You could also um, use Crawling Space, something like that. Uh, and then we have a couple of, one um, brilliant char uh, enchantment, Enchanter's Presence, uh, there's another card drawing, when you play an enchantment spell you draw a card. And then we have Sterling Grove, which gives protection to our enchantments. All other enchantments you control can't be the target of spells or abilities. And you can sacrifice it to search your life for an enchantment. So when someone goes to kill it, you can hopefully pay the one, sacrifice it, and then go and search for that enchantment. So guys, now we come to the important part, the enchantments for your all. There's quite a few, obviously, because if he gets killed a few times, we don't you know, want a, just a few enchantments. We want to be able to search for more. So we have the Ethereal Armour, um, cost one, Child Creature gets plus one, one for each enchantment you control, and First Strike. So that is a very good one. Force Adaption, uh, gets a 1-1 one, one counter, beginning of your upkeep, which is nice. Uh, Kithkin Armour, Enchanted Creature, can't be blocked by creature's power, three or greater. Sacrifice, keep going, prevent all damage. So we have that, can't be blocked by that, and we also have Madcap Skills, and can't be set by two or more. So they work good in conjunction. We have Dust Corona, which gives us um, plus two and plus naught and can't be blocked by creatures with a flying. Um, Rancor, you know, is what costs one, uh, two and trample. Obviously, when it, um, your all gets attached, it gets plus two, two for each aura. So basically, with Rancor, you're giving it plus four, plus two. Brilliant for one. Uh, Flicker Form. Uh, Gets the enchanted creature, and you can exile the enchanted creature, and all auras attached, and then you just basically bring it back. Brilliant card. Um, Angelic Gift uh, gives our creature flying, um, and you get to draw a card, which is nice. Daybreak Coronet 
Uh, has to be enchanted already, but then it gives it plus three, three, first strike vigilance, lifelink, which is amazing for a, you know, two white. Alpha authority, enchanted creature has hexproof and can't be blocked by more than one creature. So we have that with the madcap skills and the, you know, the other one that we had as well. Um, unflinching courage. Creature gets plus two, two is trample and lifelink. Ancestral Mask, plus 2-2 two, two for each enchantment in play. So that's another good card there. Uh, then we have Gift of Immortality. When Enchanted Creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your owner's control. Attach that creature at the beginning of the next end step. So that's good. So it gives our your a bit more protection. Battle Mastery, one of my favourite ones, gives it double strike. Um, Armadillo Cloak. Creature gets plus two, two, and trample, and when it deals up damage, you gain that much life, which is nice. Unquestioned authority, another one that enters when you draw a card, as protection from creatures, which is, you know, obviously brilliant as well. Um, troll hide, plus two, two, has regenerate. Shield of Oversoul, um, in trying to create, it's green, it has indestructible, and when it's uh, white as well, it has plus one, one, and flying. So, getting through these enchantments, here we go on to the next one. This one is Armoured Ascension. It gets plus one, one for each planes you control and fly in. Um, I like this one, Sage Reverie. Um, enters the battlefield for, draw a card for each aura. So it's a great, you know, if you've got him pumped up, you can draw four, five, six, how many cards you want. Um, it gets plus one, one for each aura as well. So that is a brilliant card. Uh, indestructibility just makes our permanent indestructible. And one of my favourite ones is Angelic Destiny. So it gets plus 4-4 four, four as flying first try as an angel. When it dies, return this to my hand. So that is a very good bouncing back aura there. So finally we go on to the land base. Oh, we're through the lands. We've got some, we got some um, basic lands there. Then we go on to a few fetch lands. Wooden swept teeth, wooded foot tills, marsh flats. Then we have Vivid Grow, Kessie Wolf Run, Temple, City of Brass, Scar, which gives us plus one one and gains Trample. Uh, my new addition, because I pulled this in a box, Rugged Prairie. Uh, Command Tower, very good. Reflecting Pool is a good card as well. Temple Garden, um, Jungle Shrine, Clifftop Repeat. So we've basically got a multi, you know, we can basically, Rose Passage is good to make it, un you know, can't be blocked this turn, which is a good card as well. And then that's it. So guys, I will leave a link in the bottom so you can see the deck list in full. Um, so basically Ural is, the plan of your deck is to get him out as quickly as you can possible. Maybe I could do with a little bit more ramp, but I'm happy the way it's playing at the moment. You get him attached up, you get him big, and then you just swing around and start killing everyone off. So, you know, it literally can win very very quick i'll leave obviously like i said i'll leave a link for the matches that i've had on it below as well so you can see it in action anyway guys this is the first deck tech of deck tech tuesday i hope you like the ural deck i would definitely recommend if you can put in ural together maybe leave in the comments some of the stuff that you think i've maybe missed in a deck or that you advise that you know would be very good so guys thanks for watching um tune in this time it's going to be up about 6 p.m uk time every week on a tuesday so put that in your diaries, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers, guys.